she was the first player to be signed in the WNBA and go on to become a three-time MVP, three-time Olympic gold medalist, and be inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Along her journey, Cheryl Swoops also had to deal with balancing motherhood with her career, major financial issues, and coming to terms with her sexuality. American former professional basketball player Cheryl Denise Swoops was born in Brownfield, Texas. From a very young age, she knew her life would be different, but that belief had nothing to do with basketball. Cheryl wanted to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader or a flight attendant when she grew up. She was raised by a strict mother who would only allow Cheryl to leave the house if she was gonna play basketball with her older brother. It was at this time that she started learning and loving the game at the age of seven. After watching her brother go off to college and play basketball on a scholarship and seeing how proud their mother was of him, Cheryl decided that she was going to be next. Unfortunately, growing up, she didn't get to watch women play on TV and didn't really believe women could do such a thing. She became a big Michael Jordan fan though, and made sure to position herself in front of the TV every time he played to learn as much as she could from her basketball role model. Initially recruited by the University of Texas, Cheryl ended up leaving the school shortly after her arrival without playing a single game. She would later reveal that the main reason she went there was because that's what everyone else wanted her to do. She then enrolled at South Plains College. After playing there for two years, where she was named the National Junior College Player of the Year, she again transferred to Texas Tech. In 1993, Cheryl, along with her team, won the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. Cheryl herself scored a record 47 points in the championship game. She continued to stack up awards, achieving the Naismith College Player of the Year Award, the Honda Sports Award, and the WBCA Player of the Year. After she finished her eligibility, there was nowhere for her to play professionally at home. So she chose to play in Italy before returning to the U.S. to finish her degree. Cheryl was named to the USA national team and competed in the 1994 World Championships. The team won a close final game against Australia to earn the bronze medal. She would go on to be named to several other national teams and win several more medals. In 1995, Cheryl became the first women's basketball player to have a Nike shoe named after her. The Nike Air Swoops were developed with function and style in mind. The original design featured a strap on the back of the sneaker, smartly installed to assist wearers with pulling the sneaker on without damaging their nails. The light and sleek shoe also offered great ankle support and allowed athletes to move across the court with ease. Also at this time, Cheryl married her high school sweetheart. They would go on to have one son before divorcing in 1999. After finding out she was pregnant, she told ESPN in 2019, My first thought was, oh my gosh, I'm going to be a mom, because I'd always wanted that. My second thought was, but I'm letting the league down. The league had done all of this marketing and hype around me being the first player, and now I'm pregnant. She didn't tell anybody the news until the third trimester. She had a conversation with the league and also with Nike. They were both very supportive and didn't put any undue pressure on her. Cheryl continued as a member of the USA team at the 1996 Olympics held in Atlanta, Georgia. She gained national prominence when she won the gold medal with the team and became a focal point of the fledgling WNBA. She went on to add two more gold medals to her collection in 2000 and 2004. Cheryl was recruited for the Houston Comets of the WNBA during the 1997 inaugural season. She returned only six weeks after giving birth to her son to play the last third of the inaugural season and led the Comets in their first of four straight WNBA championships, thus solidifying the team as the first WNBA dynasty right out of the gate. Her extraordinary scoring and defensive ability made her the first three-time WNBA MVP and the first three-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year. While in the midst of celebrating all her professional successes, Cheryl was also dealing with a major personal failure. Her finances were a mess. She was in a lot of debt and eventually found herself filing for bankruptcy in 2004. At one point, there was a rumor going around that she blew through $50 million. However, she vehemently denied it. What her records did show is that she owed over $700,000, including $275,000 to the IRS. When her Chapter 13 bankruptcy claim was dismissed by September the next year, 
she had not paid all of her creditors in full. Another sad moment was the one that reportedly brought her financial woes to light. Cheryl failed to pay the $300 rent on a storage unit in West Texas, and as a result, lost years of memorabilia from her basketball career, including awards, jerseys, fan mail, and her college diploma. She attributed some problems to a bad accountant, but also admitted a loss of control in an interview with the New York Times. Growing up not having a lot of money, I was suddenly in a position to change my lifestyle and help those around me. But I didn't surround myself with the right people. I got in a position where it was like, oh wow, what happened? In October 2005, Cheryl came out of the closet and announced she was gay. Since some people assume that because she had previously been married to a man, the more appropriate label should be bisexual. Cheryl adamantly denied being bisexual. However, many would be left scratching their heads in the years to come when she entered into another relationship no one saw coming. We'll get into those details a little later. She and her partner, former basketball player and Houston Comets assistant coach Alyssa Scott, got together while Cheryl was still under her tutelage. Cheryl later admitted that it wasn't the smartest decision or something she was proud of. Their relationship apparently led to Alyssa resigning from her position the previous year. It was becoming more difficult to hide as time went on and they didn't want to pretend anymore. What Cheryl did continue to struggle with was reconciling her relationship with her Christian faith. That's probably one of the toughest battles that I deal with on a daily basis. But I believe you are who you are and you can't control your feelings as far as who you fall in love with. I'm a good person. I treat people well. I don't kill, I don't rob, I don't steal. I try to do the right thing. I'm okay with it. In 2008, Cheryl signed with the Seattle Storm, ending her 11-year career with the Houston Comets. The experience wouldn't last long as she would be cut from the team the very next year. This was the beginning of the end in other aspects of Cheryl's life as well. The end of her contract meant the end of the money flow, so Cheryl once again found herself struggling to pay bills. Her relationship with Alyssa was also on its last legs. She did try to continue her career in Greece for a short time. Two days after her 40th birthday in 2011, sources claim that Cheryl was preparing to return to the WNBA in anticipation of an official signing announcement from the Tulsa Shock. In August, 40-year-old Cheryl hit a buzzer-beating shot to edge the Los Angeles Sparks and end the Shock's record 20-game losing streak. Cheryl became an unrestricted free agent after that season. While no official announcement was made, when she began blogging at the Shape Magazine website during the 2012 Olympic Summer Games, she identified herself as, quote, a former professional basketball player. In 2013, Cheryl decided to give coaching a try when she became head coach of the Loyola University Chicago women's basketball team. However, by the spring of 2016, Loyola announced that it was investigating her of alleged mistreatment after the school newspaper reported that 10 of the team's 12 players had either transferred or wanted a release from their scholarships. One player in particular sent a five-page letter to the NCAA describing the hostile environment and detailing numerous instances in which Cheryl allegedly pushed the players to a mental and physical breaking point. The player also alleged she was humiliated by Cheryl in front of her teammates and made to fear repercussions if she objected to her coaching practices. By July, Loyola had announced it had fired Cheryl as a result of the investigation, but declined to say what the results revealed. Also that year, Cheryl was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. She returned to her alma mater, Texas Tech, after being hired as the Women's Basketball Program's Director of Player Development in 2017. She would go on to be promoted to regular assistant coach. That same summer, Cheryl wed Chris Uncleshow, an old male friend after being engaged for several years. Naturally, this came as a shocking move to people who vividly recall her coming out back in 2005. She addressed it in the ESPN Films 9 for 9 docuseries a few years prior. I can honestly say I'm not confused. I am loving and being loved by who I'm supposed to love and who gives me that love back. Today, Cheryl continues to stay booked and busy. At the start of 2022, she served as a commentator with Athletes Unlimited, a brand new women's basketball league. 
Over the course of the five-week season, she fell in love with everything about it and hopes that moving forward, the WNBA will take a page out of their book. She's also a product line manager for Nike, helping to design and create products specifically for Nike athletes. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.